come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hey, thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast, the movie movie review and talk show podcast that comes your way every Saturday, whether you're ready for it or not, in our quest to take over the world. Mm. These are the <laughs> internet radio superstars. Holly. Sean. Michaela. And I'm Colin. Take over the world Godzilla-like. Yes. <laughs> like a giant kaiju. Like a giant fucking dinosaur. Yes. Uh, what did we watch tonight? Uh, well, it was chosen by Michaela. <laughs> yes. Michaela, what do we watch tonight? Godzilla minus one. Minus one. From 2023. Maybe one of the best uh, movies of 2023. I, 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 I won't sorry. disagree with yeah, that. Yeah, I'd, I'd say argue. so. Yeah. I'd say so. Academy <laughs> Award winning Godzilla minus one. Yeah. Uh, podcast over. That's, <laughs> That's it. That's the first, uh, yeah. first uh, <laughs> Academy <laughs> Award for a Godzilla movie. I am sure, right? I'm sure, yes. Yeah. yeah. Best visual, visual yeah. effects. Yeah. Visual effects, yeah. Which, yeah, yeah. yes, they earned it with this one. They're they good. Looks great. did. Looks They're, great. It's really good, yeah. And who was in charge of the visual effects? Uh... Like the, what house? What the production writer, house? director, and visual effects supervisor? Yeah. So this was just what was his name? Uh, <laughs> the director. The director. Oh, Takashi Yamazaki. Yes. Yeah. This so guy. This is, this is just an auteur movie. Single, right. Singular yeah. vision. Like, uh, this is right, yeah. so when I saw this movie, my first thought was like, this is like if Christopher Nolan made a Godzilla it movie. It really is. And yeah, yeah, that sounds like something Christopher Nolan would do, Basically. right? Like, yeah. especially there's parts where I was like, this feels like Dunkirk. It, okay. it does feel like Dunkirk. Yeah. 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 Because I got that. Too. We got Dunkirk. Yeah. We got Jaws. We got Independence Day. Yes. We're yeah. pulling from many sources yeah, here. I yeah, I love it. Love it. I love a pastiche movie. Like the best parts yeah. of those movies. Mm-hmm. Um, we hadn't had a Godzilla movie for. Okay, so um, Shin are, are you like? Are you up on the eras? I will say I'm not like. <laughs> If you're coming the here tour? for yes. insight, uh, there was uh, <laughs> reputation back in the day. Oh right, let's, let's keep going. Let's keep, um, I am not a Godzilla expert by any stretch, so please don't come at me about these details. Right. Okay. I, I brought this movie because I like this movie. Okay, so. all right. Because I, like um, I know there's a bunch of Godzilla fans who are going to listen to this show because we're doing it about uh, Godzilla yes. minus yeah. one. So yeah. I guess this disclaimer. is not your academic class. No. Yeah, right. For, we are for the history of Godzilla. Tune into our previous episode, Godzilla from 1998. Godzilla 1998. Yeah, we had. A, we had a more expert Godzilla person on that one. Yeah. A special guest. <laughs> but yeah. but also just maybe an expert in 1990. Well, no, he knew a lot. No, he Yeah, yeah he yeah, filled yeah, us in yeah, on yeah, the, yeah. the yeah. eras and all this stuff. Yeah. What I know is that there was uh, a Godzilla era that ran through the 2000s mm-hmm. and I believe concluded with Godzilla Final Wars. Mm-hmm. Was that, okay. that was the one that brought all the Godzilla yes. uh, characters from all the different... Mm-hmm. And even the... American Zilla. one was it? Yes. Zilla was Zilla. Zilla. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that was like the 50th anniversary mm-hmm. and the end, right? And then they... The end. Okay, now you say concluded the end and everything. Well, of that like, era. Of that era. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm, uh, well, we've had many Godzilla movies. But yeah. then Is they... it the same Godzilla? No. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, so, we it's, had... so it's like James Bond. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it... That's yeah. what the okay. closest equivalent is. Yeah, that's what I need. I need, like, mm-hmm. references, and so it's like James Bond. Yes. Got it. And I believe the yeah. eras are defined by the, like, the emperor of Japan. I believe that so. Time. That's why they're called... They're named mm-hmm. after the... Okay. So... Uh... There's basically the 60s, 70s, 50s, 60s, 70s, sure. right? And then there's like the 80s, 90s, mm-hmm. uh-huh. then there's like the 2000s. And now I don't know what the hell we're doing. So we in between Godzilla, Godzilla Final Happy Wars Happy and now, they there was an agreement with Legendary mm-hmm. Pictures yep. to make these monster verse American movies, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which... Listener, if you've seen a MonsterVerse movie, we all have seen at least one. <laughs> at least Just one. think about your experience watching that movie for like 10 seconds compared to watching this movie. Yeah. I like the first Wild, one. huh? I like the first the one, The Gareth too. Edwards one? Yes. No, I, I like that one. No, yeah, I yeah. don't like that one. That movie's boring. That's my hot take on it. I, I don't care about your drama with your dead Brian Cranston dad. Well, Agreed. I, I, wanted, think, I wanted Brian Cranston to be in that movie Yeah, more. and he's in the cold lot, open yeah. and he dies. Yeah, that's kind of bullshit. I, yeah, I mean, I would more. agree that the... You know, I mean, it's like the drama there mm-hmm. does not compare to the drama of the Japanese. No, I would say, right here. I, would, movie, I would say yeah. the drama in the trailer of that movie yeah, was, could be yeah. equivalent. Mm-hmm. The movie itself, maybe not. Yeah, I yeah. didn't care about anyone. But it was kind of cool for the way I had, I don't think I had seen that was a post Cloverfield. We're going to like shoot everything from the ground level and see like the human yeah. experience as these giant things move in on your city. Right. That, that movie's 10 years old now. 
I know. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. So, but the last Japanese one <laughs> was so much. Shin Godzilla, yeah. which I was debating between bringing Shin Godzilla and this one because I really like them both. That's the next I, one I gotta watch because I haven't seen Shin Godzilla, but it looked good. It's yeah. good. Shin Godzilla is good, and I think Colin and I have talked off mic, and I think you said you prefer that one to this one a little bit, right? But I feel like they're different flavors of the yes. same type of thing. Yes. Like this is Godzilla as a history lesson. That's Godzilla as like a science lesson. Well, yeah. it's. It huh. seems like Shin Godzilla was inspired by like Fukushima. Yes. And the okay. reaction to because it is like it seems uh, like angry Godzilla. It's mm-hmm. like angry Chernobyl. red Godzilla. Mm-hmm. I was gonna say it's like Chernobyl. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 It's like Chernobyl Godzilla. Ah. Yeah, yeah. It's like found footage, street cams, yep. and all this stuff all it's cut gritty. together as the bureaucracy tries okay. to deal with. I mean, I'm here for it. Yeah. How do yeah, we contain this disaster? But there's a really good like NASA type war room that has a lot of scenes uh, there that, that kind of ties love the war movie room. together. Yeah. That is really interesting to watch. Yeah. 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 This felt like. Pearl Harbor, it's going right, right, yeah. like, basically, because this is like yeah. the war movie. But it's better. a period piece. That's why it's oh, yeah. like Dunkirk. Yeah, it's a period piece of a movie. Which, like, man, all these things on paper, you're like, this might not work. You here's, know, yeah, here's it's, a yeah. period piece, a World War Two Godzilla movie. Mm-hmm. Which isn't it interesting to think about this movie coming out in the same year as Oppenheimer? It, like, it's, it's two sides of the same story, it really right? Is. You know, I is. yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Give this one best picture, as far as I'm concerned, over Oppenheimer. That's how I feel too. That's how I feel too. Yeah. Okay. Wait, two sides of the same story. Is well, one of the American perspective yeah, and the American Japanese perspective. Oh, of the exactly. war. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like both and there sides is some science and you know yeah. the sides. Yeah. yeah. Um. So now they seem to be doing, I guess, like standalone Godzilla movies. Yeah, like, Shin Godzilla was a standalone too. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's like this is these are the movies where like Godzilla shows up and threatens humanity. Mm-hmm. There's not fighting big giant monsters no what do you prefer i well i think i prefer this but i think i prefer this because i liked the like real ground level horror of being a human compared to godzilla yes Mm. that was actually scary to me whereas like the monsters fighting isn't scary it's just entertaining yeah 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 yeah, because that's 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 the same as like transformers big robots punching each other right it's It's entertaining on some level you know yeah yeah yeah. you Mm -hmm. get entertainment out of that but this is like because there's a certain point i mean the human story in this is 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 good and there's a, a, a huge gap between Godzilla sightings in this, mm-hmm. which I like. I don't want Godzilla all the time. Mm-hmm. I want his destruction yeah. and him showing up to mean something. But I really appreciate that Godzilla is mostly in the daytime in this movie. Yeah, right? that's yeah, that's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Even the, the climax is in the daytime. Yeah, there's movie. like yeah. one night scene at the very beginning of this movie, mm-hmm. it's and I think fantastic. that's just to. Uh, that is like the most horror movie scene of this movie. Yeah. So yeah. I think that they're really trying to lean into that by having it in the dark. But that yeah, was the Cloverfield scene. moment. Yeah. 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 Uh, parsing it with my American mind. That mm-hmm. was the Cloverfield but moment. A great that open. <laughs> right. And it's like, ooh, it's a slightly smaller Godzilla. Yeah. Just yeah. kind of terrorizing people. I like it. I think, see, I think I've read it's somewhere reptar. that's even. <laughs> it's Reptar. Isn't that a throwback to. See, this is where I, I don't know my Godzilla. Mm-hmm. I think that's a throwback to like. I'm Another sure there a mm-hmm. piece of Godzilla yeah. history. This is the 70th, right? Yes. Was, that's what it said. 70th, 70th anniversary, anniversary. Mm-hmm. Um, of the big giant lizard. But I guess that's the thing. It's like over over time, um, Godzilla becomes like, he always fights with, the, you know, the humans mm-hmm. against mm-hmm. the, and I've always thought that's kind of weird. That's yeah. what, like, that's what the problem with those Kong and Godzilla movies that we make in our monster universe. It's like, who am I supposed to be rooting for and why? Yeah. And like, why does Godzilla care about us? Yeah. It should. Like, but Kong doesn't because like, he has a monkey monst- palace. Yeah, right. Like, but which also monster's the, good? Yeah. yeah. And there's, oh, oh, we have to have the psychic girl who makes it, uh, makes the monster like feel for humanity. Yeah. yeah but that's, they have a connection. that's Mothra. You know, they're just incorporating mm-hmm. all these True, elements I mean, yeah. from. Yeah all these older Godzilla movies. But it but feels so hollow when we do it. Yeah, it feels it soulless. Does. Completely like, this, soulless. This is what the American audience wants. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. Go. That last yeah. one, I swear to God, I <gasps> did watch it even though I, I tried. swore I wasn't going to and it was the worst fucking movie that I saw. I just it's couldn't. Bad. I was like, oh my God. Yeah. yeah. Bad. That was Kong versus mm-hmm. or Kong times Godzilla or whatever yeah, the Kong fuck Kong times Godzilla yeah, New I Empire. Yeah. yeah. I did. No. It's, it's an algebra equation. There was some long division in that title. I even like, what was the one previous King of the Monsters? That one I liked, and it was I, stupid. I liked it. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. no, so no, it was, stupid. It was Kong versus Godzilla. 
Oh. oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, they were against each other in that one. Yeah, they, Mecha yeah. Godzilla showed up in that one, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's when they go to the Hollow Earth and he yep. gets his sword. Right. All right. Where the sun is shining in Hollow Earth. <laughs> yes. I forgot. There's yes, more that. of that in the in. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. Yeah. No. In the new one, they put up beams of of like green energy bullshit that shines a light, which is like this is why Middle Earth is lit. Is what really? It. Yeah. There's some shit. Oh yeah. It's kind of it's, it's stupid. Nuts. They it's tried stupid. to cover their ass for yeah, the mistakes. Like, I, it, no, King of the then, Monsters, I thought was actually pretty fun because you had what's the three headed. Ghidorah, Ghidorah, uh, yeah. Ghidorah, and all that stuff mm-hmm. was pretty fun. Plus, Charles Dance was in it. And yeah, it, you know, Charles Dance just mm-hmm. seeing, yeah, just talking there. about Godzilla. <laughs> I, well, not great, I know, yeah. but good, but all right, entertaining, but good fun. You're saying, yeah, good yeah. fun. But what is uh, you know like stupid? But and maybe when I was watching those movies, I was like, okay, well, this is arguably no better, no worse than what Japan was producing mm-hmm. with the you know like the two thousand or you know any of them. You know, yeah. you pick your era. Mm-hmm. It's like. They all get kind of goofy, and this is an adaptation. Yeah, because there were a lot of ones with man in suit. Yeah, yes, but yeah. this destroying these yeah. last two, and I would I would also say um, it's called uh, Return of Godzilla, but it was uh, Godzilla nineteen eighty five. That was the one mm. that brought him back. You mm, know, catch up. Uh, what was it? Is it uh, thirty year? That was the thirty year, I think. Mm-hmm. And then the original 54 one, like those are the standalone, like Godzilla shows. Mm -hmm. I think that was a direct sequel to the, it's like he shows up and he just destroys everything Mm -hmm. and we have to figure out how to stop him. Mm -hmm. And I like those ones the best, (laughs) but now they're doing, um, you know, you were saying it's part of Godzilla movie, but it's also like a drama. Oh yeah. yeah. It is mostly a drama. Mm -hmm. I would say like, that's why I'm kind of surprised people liked it as much as they did. Because when I saw it, I was like, this is way more in the drama that I would have thought, but I wasn't bothered by it, but I could see some people being bothered Mm. by it. Especially if you were going into it, Wanting just like a monster. What if you yeah. what if you were yeah. expecting King of the Monsters and you right, went and saw yeah. this? Well, I mean, maybe that's what's best about our time because they came out pretty close together, and you can have your flavor if you want it. Whatever yeah. Godzilla you want, we got it for you. I will say, when I went to see this, I saw this in theaters, and the theater was like half full, and I was so excited because I was like, oh my god, this is a subtitled movie, and it's like half full, <laughs> and it was yeah. Christmas time too, so there's other shit out, and I was like, guys, there's hope for <laughs> cinema. <laughs> yeah. Well, this had like an interesting release, if I remember, because. I saw Shin Godzilla mm-hmm. in the theater, but I had to make a little bit of a pilgrimage to go see that. And there was a three-month delay on that yeah. one. This one had a one-month delay. So basically, as soon as it opened in Japan, it did so well that they were like, shove Is it, that shove because it of the theatrical success of Shin Godzilla? Mm-hmm. They were like, okay, you know, we think we can actually open Japanese Godzilla yep. movies in the American market because... Like Return of Godzilla became Godzilla eighty five mm-hmm. here, and then I can't remember if they tried to release the next one in theaters, but then everything else went direct to video for thirty years. Mm-hmm. If right? I remember correctly, it was one of the only movies in twenty twenty three to actually have the uh, the boomerang on the box office where it went down and then went up because yeah. of word of mouth spread on it. Sure, um, and I remember Colin, you telling me, "Oh, you better go see it because it's only going to be here for a week or two. So I yeah. did, but. And yeah. it was there for three months at our yeah. theater because it did so well. I'm pissed that I didn't go see this in the theater. Yeah, me too. I really am. <laughs> it had this holdover effect. And there was, a, you know, when we talk about like how movies are distributed and seen now, like somebody figured out, like, if you have a, uh, a prestige product, right? Like, you can't extend it because they're like, yeah. there's no, well, I think there is now an announcement of like a physical media. Mm-hmm. And oh, now yeah. it's on Netflix, but mm-hmm. it's been a while. Yeah. Right? Like, they held back and were like, you know, you got to go see it in theaters. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you don't see it in theaters, you may not see it. Mm-hmm. And there was, I think, the thought that like, if you don't go see it, you're going to miss it. I felt that way. And I was like, I hurried to go see it. And I was glad I did. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I saw it, like I said, half full theater right before Christmas. I was did, so excited by that. Did you see it? Minus color. I have not seen it minus color yet. <laughs> what is going on with why do what is the, the fascination with releasing movies in black and white? Because now? it makes them feel more dramatic. It can feel dramatic. It's think uh, about Sin City. Would Sin City be the same movie if it was in color? No, but it wasn't released in color. No, but neither was um it, it Logan, back, and that one worked in black and white too. It harkens but, back to an older time. Yeah. 
uh, of movies from the black and white era, which I mean, Godzilla reaches back to at a certain point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but like to a modern yeah. audience, it's just. A, a, I guess know, this is also a period movie just, too, so it makes a, more sense for a period. But they right. have been well, doing well, plus, like the black and chrome Mad Max, yeah. or the but they have I a lot of. Was like we'll mm-hmm. do it in black and white. But there's a lot of moments in this movie uh, uh, that are black and white. We got the old. We, uh, it's like film reel the archival footage, footage or yeah. like the um, uh, you know, yeah. You, you remember when you go to theaters and you get the news headlines? Mm-hmm. It's all in black and white and shit. That's that feel that I think they're going for with this mm-hmm. i think you can get that feel throughout this if you do it in black and white now yeah. i want to watch but, black I, but, and white. but i see what you're saying like why why not do that from the start if that's what the feel you want why yeah, do you have to re-release I don't think it a, in black and white i don't white? think the production uh, company is going to release a black and white no movie. i think right. the safety is releasing the color and be yeah. like oh people liked it black like and white. a director's cut situation yeah, it's yeah. like it's just is another a... revenue stream it is also that do it yeah it is both okay it's like you saw it but have you seen it in black and white that that to me seems like a weird marketing hook. You know, I, know, like, I agree. I you agree. saw it already. Come back and see it without color because in it. Because I don't, like, yeah. And people do it. I don't yeah. need that. <laughs> <laughs> but now you can watch them both on Netflix, so that's not much of a commitment. You know? I know, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. You, gotta, well, you gotta commit and see yeah. them both. You gotta see if it's different. In black right, but when it's as easy as just clicking what stream you're doing, it's not yeah. that big of a deal. Going to the theater to see it would be a different thing. But. Yeah. Well, just to clarify, I am all for black and white movies. It's, <laughs> yeah. just, it's, it's, a, it's a weird marketing thing that I it see is. going on right and now. It, yeah, but it does happen more mm-hmm. often now. But well, I'm mm-hmm. not against it. I like mm-hmm. it. I'll watch it. Um, so this one is a period movie. I believe the first Godzilla, like that, takes place in a time period other than well, I guess mm-hmm. the other ones have been maybe futuristic or right. mm-hmm. in an alternate. But this is the first one that's like set even before mm-hmm. the original 1954 movie. Correct. Right? Is, yeah. Okay. Now is that why it's called minus one? Okay, that's a good guess. Does anyone else have a guess at what because the minus it one means? Could be that. <laughs> We're right. like we're like Godzilla would be like number one, and but we're before that, so right. minus one. Right, it's a possibility. I like it. Anybody I also like that, he, that maybe he loses, and it's Godzilla minus the one. Minus Godzilla's human. records is yeah. right. Minus is one. minus okay. one. So yeah. I go with those two. What's the official explanation? Yeah, I don't have a guess. The, the, the official guess. explanation is that after the war, Japan was at ground zero. Uh, and, and then Godzilla comes along after uh, they're already down from the back, war and yeah. takes him back again uh, and they're minus one. I gotcha. uh, but I think Sean's explanation makes more sense. <laughs> and my thought was the minus one was the surviving kamikaze pilot. Because okay. he shouldn't have lived. He shouldn't have sure, lived. Sure. Okay, right. I got yeah, that's, so that, that's what that, I thought. I think that but, fits into the theme of yeah, that. Yeah, but yeah. I... Th- but, it's a cool title. It it's works cool for title. me. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool, cool title. Well, I didn't like, know what yeah. Shin Godzilla was either. Right. Remember they tried to retitle that Godzilla Resurgence? Yeah, briefly? which is yeah. not a good title. No. No. But then there was like a Shin Ultraman. I also saw <laughs> that. Yeah. 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 And I'm like, are they just going to do this with like all Shin Japanese? means something. I f- forgot. I looked it up at mm-hmm. some point. Isn't it like, yeah. I'm going to mm-hmm. look it up. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to have that for you in a minute. Yep. Captain Google is on the case. Mm-hmm. So this one has this cold open that you guys are talking about. What? Um, and a lot of information, character-wise, and and for theme of the movie, is also contained in this first like ten minutes. This is a masterclass at like showing, not telling, right? I mean, yeah. there's a little bit of telling happening here, being like, but the way that the telling is happening is even indirect. So um, we have. Uh, Shakshima, I think his name is. And I was like, we need uh, to apologize like, yeah. ahead of apologize time for the names. Apologize advance for these names. I'm going to try my best. Yeah. Yep. He is our main character. He is a kamikaze fighter pilot for Japan in 1945. I think he there's land- another eye in there. Shikishima. Yeah. Yeah, Shikishima. And he lands on Odo Island, which is this military base that is just basically like a mechanic pit stop for planes. Yes. Um, and he lands and Tachibana, who's becomes like really important to this movie is like kind of the, the old grizzled mechanic that's like seen all this shit. Right. Yeah. Well, um, old. he's not, no, no, yeah. he, I mean, you're right. He's got yeah. old energy. He's, he's young, but he is, he's in charge. He's seen he's some the, shit. Yeah. yeah. Um, and he says, well, I'm looking your plane over and I don't see anything wrong with it. Cause right. uh, Shakashima says, so oh, I can't, I can't fly. There's a problem with my plane. Mm-hmm. And, um, he says, but I love the way he talks around it. He doesn't outright accuse him of anything. He's like, listen, I'm on your side. What's the point of, you know, laying your life on the line when the outcome's already certain, right. like the, the dialogue in this movie is so, it's so good. good. Yeah. They butchered a little bit of it with the subtitles in certain spots, but 
the, like the way things are very poetically talked around instead of mm-hmm. like just directly being like, hey, you're faking this and because you don't want to kill yourself. Like, right. you know, it, it's, yeah, it's not accusatory. Yeah. It's more like uh, I get it. we're in a time of war mm-hmm. and I understand wanting to live. And, mm-hmm. and you know, mm-hmm. uh, and those themes come back later on mm-hmm. many times within the movie. Yeah, this is um, I have Shin. Oh, yeah, Shin. Oh, Shin. Shin. All right. So we got uh, Shin. Uh, new, true God evolution evolved like kind of like this <laughs> all those all words. Yeah. Okay, all of them were. yeah for shin godzilla okay, okay. okay. all right well uh, all right there which works for a standalone mm-hmm. like true yeah. godzilla yeah. new yeah. godzilla yeah. this mm-hmm. um different godzilla neo but yeah godzilla. i guess yeah, yeah that, neo godzilla yeah, yeah. basically <laughs> if that's like it was french yeah. yes <laughs> the theme of the movie then um i mean it does seem to be I guess I don't know that I've seen another movie from Japan that's like that kind of critical of their own like culture their government, during the, yeah. yeah and their government I, during the war. I was well, really taken aback by that watching this movie for the first time I was like wh- I was well, trying to recall a movie now. from our perspective that would be this openly um self-reflexive I guess well, I would most say of our like movies are all it seems like we do that more on a regular basis yeah. I don't know if I've seen like not our war movies Japan I don't feel or... like I feel like our war movies are all about we're sad we did bad things not like I, I don't know this movie the the war is more about the war between the people and the government than like the international war happening yeah but mm-hmm. we'll I mean that it, could be but... a safety bet for making a movie for, for um, an international right. audience right. but right. it did for Americans kinda, it, anyway you know I was like wow so they're basically saying I think what you know we believe is like you know kamikaze pi- conscripting mm-hmm. people for, to be kamikaze pilots is insane mm-hmm. uh, so now we have a guy and you know he uh I guess he's he's portrayed initially as a coward. He does two cowardly acts, right? Mm-hmm. He's a uh, a kamikaze pilot mm-hmm. who has you know bailed does, out on the mission. Yeah, who does mm-hmm. not kamikaze? Mm-hmm. And then mm-hmm. uh, during the cold open, mm-hmm. there's a there's another scene which kind of defines his character as he is not a man of action mm-hmm. uh, when mm-hmm. he's supposed to be. And what what is that? <laughs> well, we see fish pop up, dead fish all come up to the surface, which is important for later. And they, like you guys pointed out, they looked like Holly said they looked like eyeballs they do or whatever. Look like eyeballs. Yeah. So the fish, like they're they're decompressed from coming up from the deep oh. so they're kind of like their stomachs kind of come out their mouth is oh. what is happening there and okay that explains so it. yeah we talk about later on like what this is a sign of and what yeah. it means but they all notice it yeah godzilla comes ashore <clears throat> godzilla comes ashore and starts stalking them mm-hmm. he doesn't just fuck shit up and start knocking stuff over he's this just, is young godzilla yeah he's lo- it feels he's looking for something yeah, he's stalking his prey. Yeah. Is what it feels yeah, he's, like. He's like. But he doesn't eat or... anybody, though. No. Did you notice that? He's like, okay, if, it's, it's like, have you ever watched a cat hunt, yes. a, hunt a mouse? Yes, and they play with it. They play with it. Yeah. Like, that's what he's doing. Yeah. He, it's yeah. This deep sea creature that comes up. I guess he doesn't eat anybody. I was wondering if that was uh, they, a cultural it thing. It is. They PG don't show him eating anyone. Thing? It's a cultural yeah. thing. Yeah, they, he. I mean, he bites down on people, yeah. but he flings picks them. them up and then flings Which them. Which is and hilarious. And I love it. Half. Um, and that's a very like Animal Kingdom thing to do. There's right. a lot of I've animals. I see my cat fling shit all right. the time. A lot of animals that do that. Yeah. But the scariest yeah. thing about this scene is that it's all being shot like ground level point of view. Mm-hmm. Like, yes. it, you're not getting aerial stuff in this scene at all. It's all just. It feels a lot like scenes dra- from Jurassic Park almost. It does. Like yeah. the way yeah. he's talking. You know, is that where so all that T-Rex. comes back from? That inspiration? Because mm-hmm. I was going to go with it was like Cloverfield. Mm-hmm. You know, to the Gareth oh, no. Edwards, it, 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 it felt it more Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Yeah, um, and the way they portrayed that T Rex when you first saw it. Yeah, it was, and it was yeah. a monumental thing. And yeah. the way being he's on like that, being on that ground level to shoot it that way to make that thing feel yeah. fucking and seeing huge it like epic come and, down and, like, and grab scary. with its jaws. Yeah, yeah, it's very Jurassic. Park. And um, I liked that everyone just kind of freezes, like it can't see us if we don't move. They mm. use that kind of method yeah. here because he's sitting in the cockpit, just frozen. Yeah. I love the like his little nervous tick of like his hand sh- on the trigger shake so mm-hmm. much he can't control he's got it that trigger finger well he's yeah, yeah. because he's the only one qualified to operate the uh, 20 millimeter gun that's on the plane right they're like you know you these go. terrified mechanics are like you run out there and shoot it you know because we don't know whether guns work or not right at this but point. this is his second failing right he has the monster lowers its head mm-hmm. into his mm-hmm. target into the sights and i like his eyes flash a little red mm-hmm. a little orange at this point yeah oh, this is just, scary right this seems like, scary, like just that young godzilla who just doesn't like uh uh, uh 
like he's got the saliva coming from his mouth. Like mm-hmm. it just—it's a different version of it. It's like it's more angry. It's more feral at this mm-hmm. point. It's not the mm-hmm. older statesman Godzilla that we get later on. <laughs> Even through the movie, they States. make him the older scary. <laughs> they give him like this kind of—he has unblinking eyes. Yes. Yeah. And he. Um, you know, it's aside from the googly eyes. Oh, I was going to say, Shin Godzilla is way worse because he has the googly eyes on the side. Yeah. This Godzilla's oh, eyes yeah. are on the front. Yeah, so, so. it's a predator, yep. predator eyes, yep. and mm-hmm. it looks at you. I yep. guess that's the thing. Makes it's eye like, contact. This yeah. one is aware of the tiny little creatures mm-hmm. that are around it. You know, it, it sees them. Um, so it makes it kind of scary, but that's so what I'm saying, like the nature of this is so feline. This has, it, is. it has such cat like tendencies. Yeah, he looks like a big cat, yeah. basically. It's got to, yeah, yeah, big lizard with a big cat head, yeah, exactly. Yeah, a little angry cat face, <laughs> yep. Um, so having failed to shoot the thing, uh, the, the monster kills everyone on the island except for uh uh Tachibana. Sh- yeah. Tachibana, the, the, mecha- the head mechanic the older guy that was like i get why you're doing it yeah. Yeah. um but he's like they all died because you're a coward and you yeah. couldn't pull the trigger and it's like for the second time in 24 hours this guy has majorly failed yep. like his yep. one job but this so, one in some ways is worse. much worse um like he said we weren't fighters we were just mechanics we would have gone home to our families like yeah yeah Yeah, the war was over yep and then he pulls the baller move of giving him all the family portraits Mm -hmm. from the people that died as a reminder that is the ultimate fuck you holy shit hey live with this yeah yeah Yeah. so this is what the movie is actually about Mm -hmm. right it's his redemption yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, uh, and that forms the main drama of like the whole, th- and there's Godzilla in it, mm-hmm. you know. But I mean, it's incorporated like really well, mm-hmm. like how uh, these two, they're not even feel, they don't even feel like separate storylines. No, Mm-mm. you know, no. they intersect. It's like it is kind of this organic thing, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. Like he has to redeem himself because he's uh, got PTSD and nightmares. And- but not war PTSD, just Godzilla PTSD. Yeah. Because he, yeah. he didn't go well, to war. Guilt. He, 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 I guess guilt. he's got yeah. mad, he mad, yeah. mad yeah. guilt yeah. that Sir, yeah. he can't move on. Well, he returns back to his, his town, which has been bombed. I think it's yeah. Tokyo, right? In yeah. Tokyo. Is that? I thought they said he was heading, like Godzilla was going to hit Tokyo later. No, he yeah. comes saying. back to Tokyo. Okay. It's burned because Ginza is, a, is, is, a, later, is yeah. a prefecture. It's mm-hmm. a it's a suburb of gotcha. Tokyo okay. yeah. that's doing yeah. better, that's being rebuilt a little yeah. better gotcha. than what he's at. But he, like his neighborhood's been bombed out, basically. Mm-hmm. He finds out his parents are dead. A lot. Um, basically everybody's dead. Neighbors basically dead. everybody's dead. Um, yeah. yeah. But the, his, his neighbor character, Sumiko, is really important. Yes, her her children died. And she recognizes him at first. And this is like the first part of the movie where I started to cry because I was like, good God, like the emotional turmoil this movie's putting me through, right? Like, because she says, weren't you a kamikaze pilot? Like, shame on you, you coward. You You are the reason we all died. Like, and I did never thought about the fact that like, yeah, if you are a kamikaze pilot that lived, that is a certain degree of shame on you. Automatically. Yeah. Because you're just like, wait, you shouldn't be here. Right. And we lost. So this is your your fault. Yeah, your fault because you didn't go through with this. I mean, again, it's it's enough of you made us lose this war. It's a unique moral position for yep. the movie to take it's right. like is it arguing for <laughs> you know, right. Kind of, right. or, you know because he's guilty and didn't complete the mission at right. the same it's time, whatever it's like, honor means at the time right it seems. yeah because he should have i suppose well i suppose it's an older custom uh yeah you know, right. he should have disemboweled himself and fell on the yeah. sword or whatever you know out of shame but this is such a complicated moral stance for this movie to take, mm-hmm. and I just can't imagine a movie that Aaron Taylor Johnson's in that takes this <laughs> right. this level of emotional complexity. Well, that's you know? where Americans miss it because right. Americans like like our movies are, I think, catered toward a beat 'em up. Yeah, a very mm-hmm. juvenile it's wrestling perspective. Yeah, yeah. it's you professional know? wrestling. Yeah. It is. Yeah. yeah. And so it's like they'll say they'll swear and there'd be some bloody violence and stuff, mm-hmm. but it's still like the mentality is is much below this movie. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Um so then so I think the movie covers about is it three years? Yeah, there's some time jumps. So when he's back home in town, he's in the town square and this woman's being chased after for stealing and she shoves a baby in his arms. Um yeah. 
And he spends what seems like a whole afternoon waiting for her to come back because when he sits down on that bench, the sun is like right. going down. Yeah, yeah. he's yeah. like, this is my baby now, yeah. I guess. And he's just sitting in the town square waiting for this hoe to come back and collect <laughs> her baby. And then she finally does. And she was like, wow, you stayed with it the whole time, which I'm like, this is a and test. She's done this before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's like, he put it on a bench and he's like, hmm. Mm, not nah, a good idea. Fine. Like, God damn it. Yeah. Yep. She comes back and this is Noriko, who is a house yeah. guest that, a squatter that never leaves. Yeah, Pretty basically. much. You know, yeah. um, that she's, he eventually. She's just like you found me i'm yours now yep. like you didn't abandon the baby who <laughs> this is like a, a small thing in this movie that i really loved is that she takes this baby and he's like what it's not yours why would you take care of it and she's like well her neighbor's dead like my neighbor's dying wish was like save our baby yeah and she was like so i figured why not and he was like so you're not even related to her and she's like no does it matter right. and i was like oh that's such like a small throwaway <laughs> sentiment but like right? i i don't know to me i was thinking about the context of this movie and like japan's history as a whole and just the idea that you would uh take on extra burdens so that yeah. someone could have a better future even if right. they're not mm-hmm. like to me Especially it was a metaphor a for of, setting up future generations right yeah. Especially you know? in a time of war right when you have nothing right to decide to do that is right. a very noble thing right this movie's dense it's all layers, <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. You know? it's, yeah. yeah no because it's just like mm-hmm. she without question she's like yeah i'll take this baby mm-hmm. and he without question is like yeah i'll take this woman and baby right yeah. and yeah. it's just like that is post-war survival right well, he, well, without, no. without even thinking of making yeah. her a, a wife or a, no you know, it's just like this is it's i like, will do this you take care this is of the people. honorable thing we you take we, care of people you yeah, need this it. i will take care of yeah, you yeah, he he takes care of each other. i think that's also well, yeah, kind of important it's not complex like, feel yeah. the feelings I know he does it, I think, because of honor or duty. And but, guilt. Yeah, and but he, guilt, but he doesn't want to be there, and it's just kind of like... he so, doesn't. Well, he doesn't want it because he doesn't think anyone should be around him. He doesn't think he deserves But that that's company. also where his neighbor calls him out. She yeah. goes, oh, so you think you've redeemed yourself now because right. you took right. these two in. And it's yeah. like, does, I like that she's yeah. kind of calls him on his shit sometimes yeah. you know she's like this doesn't undo what you did you know right. yeah she's there she's to, pretty harsh right, right yeah. to get him a reality check it's just like you still yeah. did what you did yeah. this is, does not make up for it at right. least right now yeah but, uh, but she's also like you think I'm gonna help you I'm not gonna help you and I then two and seconds she's, later she's helping <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'll fully right. adopt your child like, yes yeah. I, yeah yeah yeah. so I love this sense of community this little don't like, come to me I, lo- I love that don't think I'm gonna help you yeah. she's like why are you here yeah, yeah. it's like you here. You came here to help two seconds later she's feeding the baby yep <laughs> yeah, the sense of community is also, I think, another big theme yes, yeah. in, in the movie. Mm-hmm. Um, he ends up uh, meeting the next set of characters uh, because he takes a job as you know, as Japan is rebuilding. Uh, he takes a job as a mine sweeper. Yeah, yes. uh, <laughs> I love this group of characters. These this, are great. This characters. little setup yeah. is great. So, yeah, as a minesweeper, what they do is they have two wooden boats, which they say are high tech that can evade the, the magnetic mines that the Americans have dropped. And then we see that it's just a like broken down wood boat. So yeah. it's just wood is the high tech nature of it. And they carry like a bladed li- like line between the two of them that cuts the cords for all these bombs that are anchored to the seafloor. Mm-hmm. And then they float up and then they shoot them with a 13 millimeter gun. So Ooh. slightly smaller than the 20 millimeter um, to make them explode. And this is where he gets to like. Like exercise his his shooting skills mm-hmm. again. Yeah, that's why this he's is, on the boat. Yes, right? yes. Yeah. they this, hired him as a marksman. Yeah. This yeah. is yeah. the Tremors two of this movie, <laughs> where they also go the grab boat hunting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. So hey, there's, I'm just saying, I see yeah. a lot of parallels to other movies in this movie. So there's, I'll the, give you Jaws, but I'm not giving you Tremors <laughs> two. <laughs> the characters on this boat are there's like the captain. I can't remember what his name is, and he's just kind of like an older dude that just kind of like tells you like it is and it's kind of mm-hmm. blunt and jokey about it. Dr. Noda, who Doc, Doc they call yeah, later, yeah. who develops, a, like, what do they say? He's a Navy engineer. Yeah. yeah. And then this young guy who's never seen war and, but yet talks a lot of shit like he has. And well, he's always the one he wants, wants to. Yeah. Right. He's always yeah. the kid who's just like, I'm eager to fight for my country. Right. You know, he's, war, he's, even though he's, everyone he else like is he, yeah. he missed out. Right. right. You know? And he's everyone the, else is going, the, no, the horrors of war. You do not want this. Yes. He's the Spider-Man of the Avengers. Yes. Yeah. But there's a there's a scene. Um, the uh, kid is what they call him. He's the kid. Yeah. That's so. That's the bikini atoll yes. uh, nuclear test, mm-hmm. right? That we see it. Um, well, we see this is like random because we're like, well, we haven't seen Godzilla in a little while, right? Mm-hmm. But I love this. Yeah, where we see that testing, and then we see the blast. 
kind of blow away the the facial structure of Godzilla, mm-hmm. and you're just like, oh shit! And you see the it's eye gonna, open too, don't yeah. you? Yeah, it's like blasted out yeah. of its socket. Yeah. I think it was pretty yeah. gross. And you're but like, you're just like, oh shit, he's coming, he's coming back <laughs> yeah. bigger. Yeah, and we're like, okay, that's where he gets a rating. Because I mean, yep. you know, you've seen enough of these movies that you kind of maybe the, you know where Godzilla came from. Yeah, yeah, he's getting irradiated at this point. Mm-hmm. Um, and so then uh, I believe. There is, um, like, did, did Godzilla attack again? He attacks Ginza next, I believe. Are they spotted somewhere? Wait, no, no, it's no, no it's it the, they have the tugboat scene, right? And then it's Ginza? They, oh, they experienced yeah. it first. Yeah. They reported yeah. it, and it yeah. was like, okay, so this, there's, and this they're like, we're not going to tell the public. Yeah. This yeah. tugboat scene is yeah, the fucking ship, cool. The ship, like, goes down, and they, like, go to. To help. Oh, yep. the American destroyer. The American destroyer yeah. is destroyed, and they yeah. go to look at it because they were ordered yeah. to go there. It's like, all right, yeah. see you what's guys happening take care here. Of us. Yeah, yeah. Right. just like distract it until we can get there. Yep. Yeah. So they're with bait for Godzilla. Boat, or, no, they borrow a boat from China or something yeah. like that yeah. in order yeah. to come out here and actually yeah. blast it, and we're right. supposed to distract it, you yep. know. And this begins, I think, like probably the the, the is it a centerpiece. Part of I the think movie. so. It's at least one of them. I think there's a really like a really great. It got butchered a little bit in the translation, but there's a really good piece of dialogue here where they're going through like, wait, so our government left us out here with no weapons in this shit ass boat, and yeah. they expect us to source our weapons by cutting these bombs loose. And the captain says, and like this was the mo- line that stuck with me watching the movie. He said, "This country never changes." And in the translation I saw, he said, "Perhaps it can't." And yeah. I and this oh. one and this it's, one he said, said "I it wonder if he, it can." I, I was like, if it can. "No, that's optimistic." I like yeah. the perhaps it can't and like. Just like that, that sentence is going to resonate with anybody anywhere, right? Yeah. Like, oh yeah, the country, good country never changes. Anybody and perhaps who's it can't. Like, with how yeah. things are run and yeah. shit. It's like, yeah. Maybe mm-hmm. we're just stuck in the shit. Yeah, because yeah. They, he's. Um, well, I think that was even a response to the fact that they 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 put a uh, blockade on all the news because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. you can do that in Japan and mm-hmm. just like you know lock things down, denotice like mm-hmm. Britain or whatever, but. Then it's like, well, you're not actually going to tell the public that 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 mm-hmm. there's a threat coming like at all because we don't want to cause chaos. Right. Right? But you're also potentially putting like, you know, all I mean, I guess we find out it's thirty thousand people. Yes, they put in in harm's way. Um, but but yeah, this, sorry, talk about team. Yeah, yeah mm-hmm. is um, I thought this was where the Christopher Nolan, uh, Hans Zimmer, mm-hmm. right. Uh, inspiration was coming into this. Absolutely. Because it plays like, because I heard, um, was it uh, The Dark Knight? I think mm-hmm. Hans Zimmer started doing that thing with the, the sustained note that, that just mm-hmm. keeps yeah. changing mm-hmm. a yeah. higher pitch. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and then he did it in Dunkirk and all yep. that stuff where just be like, yeah. And they do that as Godzilla comes up out of the water and mm-hmm. is like pursuing this boat. And it's basically just the creature's head, yep. you mm-hmm. know, behind it. Because they're like, just at right at the right speed. Trying to launch, uh, you know, mines into its mouth. Right. Was some of this? Did they build a practical Godzilla at any so. point? Because it looked great. It looks in those really just good. the headshots that they get going for. I'm like, yeah. that looks fucking. The real. only thing I could find about the production is that there was only 35 VX artists that worked on this whole Jesus. movie. So wow. they were. Jesus, well, they're I, doing it I'm right. I'm a little concerned by the budget and the number of people that worked on this. That maybe this was made under really bad conditions. <laughs> yeah, but probably. I, but I <laughs> don't know. If you're know doing that VFX sure. work, I assume you're doing it under not ideal conditions. And this what movie the, is allegedly uh, has a 15 million dollar budget. What? What? Yeah. Yes. Wow. That's why Jesus. I'm like something's not adding up here. Well, I think <laughs> Jesus. There's, I don't. There's an obvious discrepancy, I think, between like yeah. the Japanese film industry and the American film industry. I mean, here is I ours the scam? Do movies not really cost two hundred million dollars, and that's have, all going somewhere yeah. else? There's I, I think, yeah. I think we're doing. We are there's definitely doing something stuff. wrong. Yeah. In yeah. that regard. Yeah. Or they're not paying their people. Right. You know? That's de- what I'm no, saying. No. They are definitely not paying their people. Yeah. <laughs> our, <laughs> Two go things can be true. Our, our grudge I episode, where we talked a little bit about the shystery deals that were happening when they were bringing those gotcha. Japanese directors yeah. over yeah. to uh, to America. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, because they're like, they just don't get it yet, how much <laughs> this stuff is actually worth. But, mm-hmm. um, uh, but this scene is, uh, like, extremely tense. Yeah. You know, in a Godzilla movie, I guess you don't expect something of like this kind of uh, like suspense and 
it was I don't know if no I'm because outright if, terror, but it's like oh my god, this is if you know, if you wanted effective. to, he could just snap this boat up any minute now. But he's he playing the other with one. them like a cat, like you guys are saying. Like right. he's mm-hmm. he's just slowly swimming behind the boat, stalking it. And to me, that's scarier than like just yeah. outright immediately smash you you know yeah. yeah and we and he outright smashed the other boat so we know it's yeah. like all right this is would be easy for him mm-hmm. so that adds the tension to the, him you know pursuing this one this scene made me mad that the japanese didn't make the meg can you imagine yes. what like their version of the meg oh, would have been like, it would have been so much better like, I mean, they it put all the money great. into it didn't they <laughs> No, I think that was, was a Chinese movie. Yeah. That was a Chinese yeah. movie. You're right, you're right. But it would have been so much yeah. better. Well, there is a key plot point that's made here mm-hmm. that a, a, a mine does explode no, no, no. in Godzilla's mouth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And blows half of his head off. Yeah. It looks awesome. It looks really good. It looks so good. But what looks even cooler is when the head grows is that back. He's fucking yeah. Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking awesome. And then you're yeah. like, oh no. Like this is uh, how are you going to kill right. this yeah. thing? So the stakes suddenly go way up. Yeah, because like, um, if you can blow up his head and it comes back, and yeah, you're part of his you're head. Fucked. Yeah. yeah, it's like, oh, it's, that's not it's good. It's pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. So, and we haven't seen him power up yet, have we? I don't. Um, no, this I think is... that happens in the subsequent attack on on Giza because okay. he finally he does come no, he, ashore. I think he blows this... up the sh- the the boat though. Yes. Remember, he does no, the atomic the blast underwater and blows the up the boat. Because that's yeah. right. That's, that's the first time they see it. The big boat does come. Yep. But then the big boat gets it. Yep. With that's the blast, right. and so we get the first the tail and the yeah. spikes jutting out. The spikes. And... There's a charging sound. Did you notice yeah. the sound effect? And all the spikes shoot up and turn blue. There's the charging sound. It's like a gun cocking. Yeah. <laughs> right there, there's the spikes going up there's the blue the the sound work and the the sound design the score and everything really works well in these moments because you get that whole build up to it you get that moment of silence and then you get the spikes going back into his back and then the shot yep you know what and it sounds like it really sounds cool. like the crank in like a gatling gun yeah that's what it sounds like right and that may be like um especially during the time when those were the big guns on the ships yeah and everything, like mm-hmm. purposeful but really, I love that moment because it it's just... It's a lizard, they, but it sounds like a fucking machine. Right. Yeah. It's so cool. And they knew how to pull it off in a real cool way. Yeah. I like I like the tension of it. It has to charge up, yes. too. Like, yeah. Especially seeing oh, yeah. the and scales go up. Later. You can count it almost, right? Yeah. If you can see all the right. scales go Where up. And it gives start? something for... The- like, because I know I Shin know. Godzilla did right. it. I think the American ones also do like a charge up before mm-hmm. the, yeah. you know, it was just dramatic, I guess, mm-hmm. to do it. But well, yeah, because it gives you, it gives you like, oh shit, it gets you prepared for what's coming. But it also can, if you use it right, can give uh, characters in the movie, uh, uh, it gives them a, a ticking clock, it gives yep. them a time. Mm-hmm. It gives them stakes, it gives them something. It's just like something they can see, or just like, oh shit, it's coming, we have to go now. But it's also something, I guess, at this point, we have seen multiple times in these movies mm-hmm. but somehow i mean like even watching it again tonight uh i'm sitting there going like this totally works yeah oh, you know yeah. even yeah. for the 50th time that yeah. i've seen right you know again because if you can do it right it's, satisfying. it's so yeah. satisfying mm-hmm. um and he so yeah, then, then he nuclear blast i think sh- the next well okay so checking back in with uh shakashima and noriko they're not married uh, but they're raising this kid, and they're living yeah. like a they're living like a married couple. And they are, but they aren't. They're like separate beds. Like, yeah, but she does like all the cooking and housework, yeah. and he works, and right. they're raising the kid together. He's and trying to be they're a, yeah. yeah, they're like his, friends without benefits. Yes. His crew, uh, <laughs> yeah. his friends no think they're like he's nuts. For, I love that when they're yeah. all having that dinner. dinner and yeah, the, like, the revelation. They're like she's already married. Don't hit on her. And yeah. she's like I'm not married. They're like what? Yeah. They drop everything the they're doing. I'm like, what yeah. what are you doing? Yeah. Why are you here? And it's just like, oh, Yeah, this little honor. group is good is a good setup for camaraderie yeah. in this movie. Yeah, I like works. them. Yeah. Um and definitely the, keep him in check. Right. Love that. Right. Oh, especially later on when it gets more serious and some of the conversations they have, and I'm like, oh wow, this is getting Oof, real deep. Yeah. But um then the next Godzilla attack, if we're previously on Godzilla, um, is Ginza, which yeah. like yeah. Oh boy, there was a seeing this in the theaters. There was a couple of scenes that might made my stomach flip a little bit, mm-hmm. like the way the buildings tip and you yeah. follow them while they tip down. Oh yeah, oh when the God. go those the, boy, okay, yeah. the reporters on the roof. Yes, love them. Did you guys love that. Love yeah, them. That it's great. like Godzilla is getting closer. We should not be here. This yeah. is very dangerous for <laughs> yeah. us. Yeah. I think we're gonna die. And yeah. then he fucking crushes the building. And like you said, it tips. You watch, it yeah. tips, oh. and you watch them go over with yeah. the edge. Like oh, it doesn't it follow you all the way down to the death. But it's like they died right to the moment where you're just like, all right, they're dead. Yeah. And Noriko has decided to get a job because she wants to be independent because she's basically giving him an ultimate 
ultimatum of like, if you're not going to marry me, yeah. I'm going to get a job and move out, right. bitch. I don't want to be around yeah. if you're still looking for a wife. Right. Like, I don't want to be in the way. Yeah. And so she's on the... Which I'm is not. Her just going, Fucking I'm not sure. Me. Right? Yeah. I'm not sure it was her first day of work, but they kind of made it seem like it was her first day right, of work. What a shitty first day. Of yeah. Work. Right. And she's on the <laughs> right, plane. Just the first time on, on the, train, the train, going to work. Yeah. Like, oh, it's my first day. It's yeah. gonna be a good day. And then Godzilla throws a car on the track, and <laughs> then takes a big chomp out of the yeah. car that she's like kind the one adjacent to her. Yeah. Lifts it up. Right, we need like, to admit how adorable it was. Adorable. Oh yeah, it's the with cat God, who found its toy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, with, the, with the train car in its mouth. <laughs> yeah, it was so fucking cute. Yes, <laughs> and her the end of the car she's in gets ripped off. It tips up, and she's like literally hanging like on a pull up bar yep. out of this fucking train car. And this is the part too where I'm like, I can't look directly at this. Yeah. It makes my stomach a little flip a little bit. Yeah. Oh god. And I was, he finds her though. Uh, she drops into water. But, she, yeah, yeah, but he, he ends up when she out. when she's on the street mm-hmm. later. Yes. He, uh, uh, arrives and there's like, yeah, a, get out of here. a moment where I can't remember. I think it was the, uh, the atomic blast again, which mm-hmm. is portrayed in a way that, I mean, it levels the entire city. Mm-hmm. I think the one in, in Shin Godzilla is maybe more spectacular yes. just because it was shocking. Yeah. They did something different there, mm-hmm. but, okay. but this, uh, is this is more pretty evoke good. like it, this is an emotional bomb state. in World War II. Yeah. This is the yeah. exact imagery this, you're going yeah. for. Yeah, yeah. It's and the it, mushroom cloud and yes. everything. Like, and it looks there. great. Yeah, yeah, he's howling at this giant does. mushroom cloud mm-hmm. overhead. It was yeah, like, holy it's so, fuck. It yeah. looks fucking good. And then, this, like, the, uh, the, the black kind of, rain falling out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, God. oh, my God. Oh, it, it, it looks powerful. like, because you don't, maybe you don't get that often, or they don't focus on it in kind of uh, maybe the American ones, although we do 9 11 imagery all oh, the time. Oh, that's all it is. All the time. Yeah. <laughs> but, but to, like, the awe of something bigger than you that you look at and you're just like holy shit that can destroy me well, mm-hmm. yeah and, and like comes for, across very well in the in how the this is shot and how it's constructed visually and yeah. with the effects and everything like it's really great the acting and is phenomenal it's so yeah. good and like it just there, there's two perspectives here the first one is like if you're relating to these characters these characters have already seen this yeah. yes yeah. they've already seen this this, this is, is like their third again. go around yeah. but then on the other si- but then on the other side done. but on the other side it's like showing the symbolism like this is how it actually was mm-hmm. like, yeah. for for the real audience yeah. like World mm-hmm. War II this is what you saw right you I, know? one of my favorite things about like modern Godzilla movies but especially this one is that you there's like that five second delay where you have to wait for the f- like smoke to clear and yep. the dust to settle yeah. to see if you've won or not and this yeah. movie leverages that a lot but yeah. it's effective and, and what it does that is really fucking effective is in those moments everything is silent it's silent yep. this it's movie so cuts out the right yeah, time it does, yeah it does oh it does God. it a couple times you're right mm-hmm. it cuts out the sound and you're just like it oh, works you're just holding your works. breath because it's yeah, so tense you are yeah. holding your breath mm-hmm. yeah there were multiple times where I was just like oh my oh, mouth yeah. wide just going mm-hmm. oh yeah, because yeah. it was effective. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, I feel it. Yeah, and it's dramatic uh, for the movie because she uh, ends up pushing him into an alley to save his life, mm-hmm. and she gets right. knocked uh, out by the or away by the. She the, gets the blown, blast. blown the fuck away. Yeah. And then yeah. sucked, I liked that it had the suck back oh, in. Yeah. Oh yeah, I saw, yeah. <laughs> like, just like yeah. whoa, we're oh, going back she's the other dead. Way. Yeah. You know, and it's like, oh should man. be dead, should yeah. be dead. <laughs> And I'm so, okay with it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But should be dead. But that is kind of a moment, you know. Now he has the agony of uh, having lost her because I guess uh, he was the moment, right. considering like marrying her. Right. Well, yeah. the so ten minutes she's... before was just like, have I? Am I allowed to live again? Am I allowed to live a happy? Yeah. Life? We should mention that he is having tremendous Godzilla flashbacks yeah. um, to where he doesn't know where he is, what day it is, if it's real. He asks yeah, her multiple he times, is this times real? Back on Odo yeah. Um, yeah, and yeah, th- and the way those scenes are shot, like the what, seamless transition of him opening the door yeah. into his like flashback memory is yeah. so good. Very good. But so she's, and she's, like she even says to him at one point in time, like I know, like war trauma must be a hard burden to carry. I wish you'd let me help you. Yeah, she's like, we've lived together for this long, yeah, and you right. still haven't let me. And in. then he does tell her, yeah. And I was I, this time, I, I caught it this time on a second watch, but he's probably never told anybody about Godzilla until this moment, right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. he was classified. Really, yeah. yeah, the yeah. government says that it was yeah. an yeah. American bombing and, or something. Yeah, and yeah. like just the fact that like this whole this whole time he's been so guilt ridden. He's like, I don't deserve a family. I don't deserve. A I family. don't deserve to live, I don't says, deserve to yeah. live and then finally right. he's like you know what okay I'm gonna let her in I'm I'm mm-hmm. gonna I'm gonna accept this as my family mm-hmm. right. next and she day gets blown away <laughs> <laughs> yes. right yeah right. but I do like that uh and it becomes a theme for I think more of the second half of the movie is yeah. that 
the our the war is not over. Our war is not over. Dude, Dude when that he part says cried that line, so yeah. fucking much. He's like, my war isn't over. Oh, right. I was and really fucking to, to, uh, 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 Tochinaba, or uh, yeah. he says like, our war is not over. Yeah, it's yeah. like we are still fighting this. Th- there's yeah. a really pivotal moment, like three quarters of the way through the movie. It's like right around here where they are all out to like the crew is all out to dinner again, yeah. and the captain gets a little too drunk, and he's like, why didn't you ask her to marry? Look, you you asked a little too late and all this stuff, and it's kind of like roughing him around yeah. a little bit. Yeah. And that's when he's like, because I can't, I can't, because my war, yeah, that's when yeah. you get the famous my war isn't over, war which isn't like right. I was really like worried the captions were going to fuck that up too, because that's like the iconic moment from yeah. this movie. Yeah. And I was like, no, you can't, especially because the question she asks at the yeah. end, it like ties it all together. That but like, you felt that. You felt that. You felt this this guy's struggling. Oh. This guy's had a <laughs> shit life. Like, well, it alters his trajectory because at this point, then it's like, then. There is that scene, I think, you know, after she gets swept away and he realizes that she's dead, Mm -hmm. uh, he turns around and see, and I was waiting for him to say, like, I'm going to kill you, you know, but but that's the, that's conveyed. He just screams. It's like, you know, now it's his mission. He's a good screamer. He (laughs) has found something he is willing to die for, right? Yes. Uh, On a personal level. And it does seem, and I guess that's what the movie is playing with for the second half. It's Mm -hmm. like, because he finds this derelict, uh, um, well, I guess it was a, a concept plane fighter right. plane yeah. that isn't yeah. air ready and, and they didn't have it ready in time for the it war w- oh, yeah. yeah they were building for the war but the war ended so they did yeah. yeah. because he, he asked the doc he's like I need you to get me a plane and he finds this plane that was like never completed and then mm-hmm. he's like but we need a mechanic okay, we yeah. need to back up a little bit because we got to talk about what the plan is here uh, yeah. so the right. plan oh, right, yeah, the plan that Dr. Noda came <laughs> the, up with is we're going to get a bunch of civilian soldiers because the government can't be involved and help us. They need to pretend right. like will, nothing's will, happening. It will strain relations between the U.S. and Russia mm-hmm. at this point. So well, we I can't think that's why help. they say they can't have. Yeah, because I think Japan's operating under uh, American right. That was mm-hmm. part of the treaty. So mm-hmm. right. Like, so they can't actually. That's why they don't have any armaments. That's why this fighter, they're not which, allowed, which was yeah, yeah. in storage, yeah. still has the bombs right. on right. it, so they can use it. Yes, um, yeah, everything had to be decommissioned after and after the, the end arms, of the war. Yeah. And yeah. But yeah. it does kind of feel like I guess the first time maybe I misinterpreted this and thought that it, the, this was a civilian effort. It's X. Uh, you know, military ex-navy. guys, ex-navy, yeah. ex-navy guys, yeah. yeah, yeah. But there is a governmental command through the general Hatta or whatever who comes yeah. in, right? Yeah. So it's like, but he's like, I'm not conscripting you because I'm I asking can't. for volunteers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so right. I need volunteers. Yeah. yeah, and they're like, you know, so here's all the people who are signing up. But, but I loved how this scene went. I loved how they were like, no, we gave our lives once. Why yeah. should we have to do it again? Yeah. I didn't expect that when I watched this movie the first time to push back like that and okay. to be like, I appreciate why that should part. I have to lay yeah. down my life? Again, why am I always the one that's picked? I love that. I'm like, I wish people would talk to fucking military right. like this, you know? Yeah. But, um, and some people do leave and some people do stay. But the plan that Dr. Noda, uh, introduces is basically to give Godzilla the bends. We're gonna... <laughs> I kept thinking uh, Jaws 2. Yeah. <laughs> is what We're, I kept thinking yeah. when the the scuba divers at the beginning yeah. what happens and all this stuff. Yes, yeah. the, bends. the bends. Give him the bends. So we're gonna sink Maybe him. we'll bend him in half. And then we're gonna shoot him back up real fast so that his brain will explode. Basically. Yep. Basically. Uh, which, well, if, the, yeah, if he yeah. doesn't get crushed doesn't kill yeah. him. at the bottom, we're gonna kill him by going back up too fast. Which we know he can go to a certain depth because every time he appears, these deep sea fish yeah. Yeah. pop up to the surface before him so it's like him swimming up from the depths brings this current up with all right, these fish in it that them. die yeah, yeah. so like it's nice that you get this little warning that Godzilla is coming by all these dead fish popping up on the surface yeah. right. uh, so their thought is like but yeah the valid point of how if he can swim that deep why would this kill him mm-hmm. great point mm-hmm. and they're like well we're going to take him deep and hold him Deeper. down there we're going to have Freon jets that shoot bubbles around him so we're going to put a fancy belt on him <laughs> and <laughs> floaties yep. yeah, they're going to they're swim two destroyers I guess in a clockwise yeah. around right. him and tie this belt tie on this, him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like how they had, because at a certain point they have to get they they rub up against each other, the two destroyers going. And they're like, we have to, yeah. Right, they have to because they have to do it fast enough to tie it around him. Right. And so they have to get that close. I love that that yeah. is a detail in this movie mm-hmm. that we're just like, oh, like we could go farther, but he mm-hmm. may escape. We have to get yeah. real close and mm-hmm. then just tie him off. And Dr. Noda gives a whole speech being like, 
for far too long, this government has not given a shit about your lives. They don't give you proper armor. They don't give you food. They, right. don't, they don't give you ejector you- seats. Yes, they don't give you ejector seats. It's just like, ah, yeah. pivotal. I see you. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's they, crucial. They said this government, does, doing. this government doesn't value life, so we're going to fight this war, and we're not going to sacrifice any lives. Yeah, the idea yeah. is to fight for the future, not yes. fight to the death. Right. right? Yes. That, that, that's fight the to theme. live, not fight to die. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. Uh, he's so the mechanic then is recruited, and I guess like because Doctor No says you would have to know a mechanic yeah. that worked on these shit on these <laughs> planes, and like the but it's something about like the best mechanic ever. Do you know anyone? He's like, actually, I do. And then do know we're all fist pumping because we know what's <laughs> happening. Yes, right. Tachibana's because, yeah, being you, brought back on the team. Right. If you like going into this movie, you're just like, okay, we haven't seen. Like they separate. Like, they have okay, problems. Like he's guy's, gonna come back later. Back. Yeah. We know that he's coming, coming back, back, but why? And yeah. Now yeah, we're but why. They, they treat it, you know, like because he's like, you killed all my guys, and he beats them up, and you know, because uh, the way he find because he can't find his address because he doesn't know where he's at, so he gets <laughs> all of his known addresses and sends letters to him, being like antagonizing ta- him. Yeah, I like, love this. Like, yeah, this, this is, is a, your fault. This is and a you're great just detail. You're right because he wouldn't come for for cries of help. He'd be like, "Fuck you! I don't want to help you. I'm not going to help you." But you blamed me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I read that as he was just reading what the the the, the what the letters said. Right, right. But, but the he letter, sent the, the letters. Letter said it was yeah, but he was just reading it like like what is this? Like I did this, and then you know, saying that's what the letter said, not that he was being blamed for it. But maybe you guys are right. No, right? in the letter in the he letter, said it says he, he said it was his you fault. You did it. Yes. You know? yeah. yeah. When, when you write him all those fault. letters, each letter says, says this was your fault. Oh, okay. Yeah. Get him to draw him out. Because if he wrote to him and was like, "Hey, come help," he'd be like, "Go fuck you." Come help you. Why would I help you? But he blames him in the letter. He's like, "I'm gonna come fucking beat your ass." And that's why he comes back and like hits him over the back of the and then handcuffs him. Yeah, handcuffed him, arms and legs, and then and then throws the letters. He's like, "What the fuck is this?" And I love that. Bullshit. So this character got a limp from being narrowly like clipped by Godzilla, right? right? Yeah. And so I love that we know he's coming back because we see a low shot of limping feet, yes. and we're like, oh, yes, my God. yes. Uh, they found yeah. him. It's that fucking hero entrance. Yes. I love it so much. <laughs> But he is able to outfit this uh, 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 unusual plane. It has a propeller in the yeah. middle. It's so cool. It it is so a, it's a backwards yeah. plane. It's real yeah. cool. It looks it's like really a plane cool. that's been cut in half, and the the, the yeah. propeller's behind the pilot, <laughs> right? Yeah, um, thrusting him forward. It's very but cool. There is that one scene also where it's like a throwaway. Where like, so I did this, and I put this in for you, and mm-hmm. also one more thing, and then right. the movie cuts away. Yeah, and, like, and you were okay. like, I know yeah. what you did. <laughs> yeah, I know because he's did. seen looking at the seat. Right. Yep. Um. So, but I think the movie is trying to build this idea that maybe now having lost everything, that our hero is going to fulfill the mission that he failed at yeah. originally. Yeah. And now he's like, I'm going to fly this plane like directly into Godzilla's mouth yep. and blow it up. And I don't think he's told anybody else. That this no, is the he plan. doesn't because he leaves all of his legal documents in an envelope with his baby. Yeah. yeah, and then set, the baby goes over to the neighbor who takes care of her. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah, not even leaves it with the lady. Just like he leaves it with the yeah. the, the three year old child. Yes, yeah, so like, he puts it on her bed. Smart enough to yeah. give this to your neighbor. Yeah, like you think he'd peek in and be like, "Hey, I'm leaving for the day. Yeah, she's still asleep. Yeah, so right. just go check on no. her in a bit. No, just no, no, left her with just mail. Leaves the baby. Um, but this is really important. Yeah, you guys, Sean, you were right when you said deed to the house because that's mm. important for the third act. But yeah, there's documents for the kid, the house, whatever. So she goes over to his house. And then that comes back a little bit later. Mm-hmm. Right. It's but important his, that she's at that house. His role in this plan, right, where uh, they're going to you know, tie the, the, the belt around Godzilla is he yes. is, uh, well, what they He's think, the right? He people. knows... I'm going on a suicide mission, mm-hmm. or at least this is what we're led to believe, and he's going to fly into Godzilla's mouth and detonate it. But they think he, yeah, he's just going to try and lure Godzilla out of the the populated areas and right, into the right. water over the the big trench. Right, and right? that happens right off right off the bat. So they're like, all right, he did his job, he's good, mm-hmm. and they will do the rest with the ships and everything because they have teams that have you know the the belts that can go around them and everything. Yeah, I love these uh, things because you know usually when you, you see this in a movie, it's always like, okay, here's the plan, and then the movie then 
goes like, well, here's how the plan goes wrong, or we mm-hmm. throw the plan out mm-hmm. because, yeah. but it actually does go according to the plan. The plan works. Yeah. The plan works, yeah. especially because they had a backup plan. Like, yeah, the initial plan was just to sink him, and the backup plan was to shoot him up. Yeah. Right. And then when they go to shoot him up, he gets about, what, 700 meters from the surface, and then he bites through his little life preserver belt. Mm-hmm. His floaties. Yeah. His floaties. Well, I yeah. liked it, yeah. you know, even in the visual representation yes. of this, there's this cool moment where Godzilla sinks to the bottom. Yeah. And, like, he's, he's like, Power goes out. Yeah, yeah. His power goes <laughs> out. Yes, that's really cool. Yes. And when he does, kind of when they after that, when they bring him back up to the surface, because he is a creature that can regenerate. The way he looks, yeah, because he's damaged from he's having gross. come up, it, like he's mm-hmm. gross and everything. Like yeah. it's very it's cool. Like he's got really frozen muscular. part of his, yeah. you know, his skin is all like his frozen. Eyes are white. Yeah. There's white patches yeah. on him. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. I love this. Kind he comes of, up the battle screaming. damage. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, he's not. You know, well, but you it's know, like, it's like a White Walker dragon. Yeah, it yeah. is. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yes. It's very cool. And so then he's gonna fire up the oh. uh, the atomic the heat I knew, ray. They right. said I knew this was gonna you did. Happen. You called it. I yeah. knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> right. Because I've seen Independence Day. I know how this works. As soon as the thing's gonna blast, you drive right into it, stop yeah. it, and it's a hero's moment. Mm-hmm. But and this is another great moment where they. S- Shut the sound off. Yeah. It is. Oh, it's the so tense good. tension during it's the so scene. Good. I love yeah. when they do that yeah. in any movie. It's mm-hmm. great. Yeah, because he gets his hero moment, right? Mm-hmm. This is his redemption. He is flying right. Because, I mean, everybody's about to be killed by the heat ray. Yep. Their plan didn't work the way it was intended. Mm-hmm. Godzilla is weakened, but still there. And then he swoops in on the plane and. We see him pull the lever like right well, before it, the you know, we see the go. plane go right into its mouth and then it explodes. Godzilla's head comes off. Yep. And then there's this spectacular thing where all the uh, energy, the light fusion the within him. of energy coming out. Yeah. 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 And, and then he, he just crumbles into mm-hmm. pieces and we're like, whoa. Yep. Love it. Guess what? Love it. It's not over yet. He survived. Yes. We see his parachute everyone and everyone is so excited. Oh. And... It's everyone knows. I was kind of waiting for Godzilla over. to come up and just go, yeah. <laughs> but you know, yeah. that's yeah. one way you could you go. Stop it. You stop that. <laughs> this stop time that. we win. Yes. Kind of thing. Yeah. It's a uh, very rah rah. And, and he really wins. Yep. And he really wins because he, he gets really back wins. to shore and his neighbor Sumiko comes over. With like, hey, I got a fucking letter. I yeah. love the way she gets, she, she just she hits, like him. hits him and yeah. then hits him again. And then we cut to a hospital and Noriko says, is alive in a bed. And it's says, "Is your war finally it's over?" Finally oh, over. Oh. Uh, I cried three times. Yeah, in this movie. Yeah, it was me the first time I saw him. Like, oh, oh my god, because he's got the baby. Yeah, and he's just like crying. She's like, "Is your war over?" Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's over. <laughs> uh, but, but. Oh. Oh. Ah! not done yet though <laughs> so what I'm she's not... got a little black vein curling up her neck what is this okay ah! what is this okay, so i don't it's, know it's a it's a deep cut godzilla thing apparently called g-cells where like ah. pieces of godzilla so can godzilla? infect you okay. yeah well, so it's like a well, tease so when, at something so, so. When the blast hit her yeah she got she like, like godzilla yeah yeah exactly yeah. So what happens oh i'm very There's curious no sequel yet so we'll know but that's you know that is a a moment where you unexpected yeah and oh. you're just like wait wait yeah. what is that what is that yeah. and then cut oh. on. And you're just yeah. like what and then there's another part we hear Godzilla's yeah. heartbeat underwater ah! well, well, we, like, see, yeah. we see a, like a fleshy a chunk of flesh yeah. and it starts it's, bubbling yeah. it's bubbling yeah. up He's like, like re- it's regenerating, yeah. regenerating. Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> now Shin Godzilla also had an ending that was kind of like don't ruin it fuck where are we going with this yeah don't ruin it um, and there was no sequel, so yeah. I wonder if these are just. I'm okay but I mean, it. I like it. For a man who loves sequels, I'm okay. Like what the fuck ending? Yeah, uh, we like it. we like love those it. here. I love yeah. it. We yeah. like those here. It's just a one off. Yeah. You know, it's yeah. like okay. I don't want a sequel to this movie. This I know. Perfect. No, it's great. Yeah, perfect. It so Do good. something else. I want it. another interpretation of Godzilla. But exactly. I am kind of cool with like. Uh, I don't need the other monster fight. Same. Yeah. 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 I mean, I don't the know human for how conflict long, with Godzilla is enough. Yeah. Yeah. And you just do it in different eras? Or yes. Do it in different, different era, eras yeah. all the time. That'd be super entertaining. Give me 1970s Godzilla. Like, lean into the 70s yeah, fucking vibe. Groovy Godzilla. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. You just have to find, like, that human uh, you yeah. know, story. Yeah. What about, like, a really old, like, 
like Renaissance Godzilla, or like um, <laughs> like like feudal Catapults Japan, like, shit. like feudal Japan with like samurai oh, yes. Godzilla. We yeah. could do old man Godzilla, where Godzilla's just like is it like Gran Torino, but <laughs> it's but it's got it's like Godzilla's last mission Godzilla's last stand yeah, yeah basically where he's just fucking he's got a beard for does some he have like gray like, scales yeah, yeah on his exactly head or like something? you can see yeah. the age does, yeah. in his scales yes <laughs> he's got a receding hair yeah yeah, yeah yeah yep he's got like exactly. salt and pepper the scales, scales on his go side, back yeah. only so far yeah yeah <laughs> something like that like bifocals does it right, take when you long, know it's old Godzilla does it take longer for him to has, charge up for his limb. atomic breath sometimes it doesn't work yeah. like he's got ED yeah he's got ED his atomic breath sometimes he can't like he goes to shoot it but it can't do it the scales don't go no, the scales don't pop up. The scales right, right, don't, yeah, pop up. don't pop up. Oh my god! This one at the end that just doesn't yeah, go, and he's like, ah! Oh my god! That's the end of the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's We're yeah, done. that's Logan not being able to pop a claw. Yeah, yeah. yeah old age oh, affects everyone. <laughs> oh god, I would love that so much. Oh, yeah. so good. All right, well, we're going to tell you what we thought of the movie individually. Loved it. Whether... <laughs> Spoilers. Well, there you go. Well, we still hope that you'll stay tuned uh, we to sure hear do. what we thought of the movie. But <laughs> um, <laughs> first, we're going to answer some of your mail. And in order to do that, we're going to have to summon our mailman. His name's Igor. Bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. Do you think he's been down that deep in the ocean? Is that how he got the way he is? I think he's. Oh, yeah, he's like compact he's, because of that. Well, I think maybe? he's a deep sea creature. Does he have like right? a vacation home in the Mariana Trench? I or think something? Have, so. you, have you ever yeah. seen Igor power up? No, I don't think so. His blast is a little different. I think he's, I think he's shy about it, you know? You, right, yeah, yeah, you just can't look doing right at it in him a corner. It. Yeah. Oh, Igor. Yeah, he is stage fright. Yeah. Oh, Igor. Well, we should let the good folks at home know how they can participate on this interactive portion of our show by following along on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Or X. At Sat Freak Show. Or by email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or on threads and Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show about tonight's movie, Godzilla Minus One. Uh, yes. We got a lot of Ooh. mailbag on this one. Cool. They've liked. Love yeah. it. Uh, boy with the Jason tattoo oh, writes yeah. in and says, so I got to see this with a packed house and it was amazing. Good. I had a hard, ugly cry at the end. <laughs> yep. but I did get to see the black and white and it wasn't, it wasn't a good experience. Oh, it no. was hard to see anything. And the second time around, you felt the length of the movie. Oh, that oh, sucks. Okay. 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 So no, so no black and white. So no black and white. Okay. 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 All right, okay. All right. Uh, Mark Zidane says as a long time G fan, I was happy to see the series go back to its trauma horror roots, mm-hmm. even with a relatively low budget for this type of movie by Hollywood standards, this movie should have had two more Oscar nominations, Best Foreign Film, and honestly, a nom for Best Picture, fuck Oppenheimer. I best, agree. Uh, best Foreign Film. Uh, Oppenheimer is yeah. a good movie. No, it is a good yeah. movie, but I good this enough, movie deserved fine. more nominations. Uh, Doug Jamolka, that's also DJ Dude, Molka, nice. uh, oh, yeah, said yeah. the Godzilla movie we deserved. The legendary MonsterVerse series exists solely to sell toys. Yep. yep. Enjoy, mm-hmm. guys and gals, and cheers. Oh, yeah. Good. I'm glad to have toys in for. This. Oh yeah. Have you never? What's the last thing you went to a store? Colin? Target has of a whole section. Have toys. For, yeah. Target. I don't Walmart? go to the toy store. I'm an I adult go, man. I go every time I'm there. I'm just like, what's <laughs> what's popular? Tar- Target what's has what a full adult action toys? figure yeah, section. I know by the books. Yeah. They have yeah. Like the, oh yeah. Go right. to the toy section. Check yeah. it out. Okay. Uh, Michael Whitaker says, "Where is our Gamera minus one? Gamera. Gamera. Yeah." I would so watch it. Like I would. Yeah, what, do you want to put out Gamera? anything else? Isn't he the turtle guy? I thought Gamera was. Is it, was someone punching like, their steering wheel they, right now? They renamed Godzilla for the second. Yeah. One? Okay, it's. I'm not a Godzilla expert. Um, Jacob Law says, "Hell yes!" Character. On our choice turtle of guy. Movie. Yeah, Turtle Guy. Uh, that's what I thought, yeah. yeah. Uh, Jacob Law says this was the best movie of 2023. It's the best Godzilla movie since the original in 1954. It's one of the very few that has both a good human story and a monster story. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The design of Godzilla was great, and yep. the attack on Ginzen was horif- horrific with the atomic blast. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, his defeat was genius, too. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Chili Morrison says, do you prefer Godzilla movies with or without another giant monster to fight? Bonus question. Do you have any favorite Godzilla enemies like Gigan due to his crazy design and buzzsaw tummy? <laughs> I love I'm that. Not, well, enough versed to have a favorite. If you I like, like King Ghidorah. Yeah, I do too. I like the three heads. That's fun. If you yeah. have, you know? oh, as far as Godzilla by himself or with other monsters, it depends on the story. 
Yeah. Like, because they think done I'm it, always they've uh, done by it. himself. I yeah. like him versus the city of I like right. human I, half, I think I enjoy half those half. more. Yeah. I think yeah. you can have fun with other monsters just because I do like Mechagodzilla. Cool. When Mechagodzilla that, gets brought right. in, it's some, entertaining. Right. Yeah. There's just some cool shit sometimes. Yeah. So it depends on the story. Yeah, but yeah. I agree with that. But my, yeah, Godzilla alone may be the mm-hmm. better version. Uh, Nick Siebel says Godzilla minus one was the best Godzilla movie I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. Hollywood, take note. You take got note. 11 underdog. The film made was made for under 12 million. He says the human story was actually really good. And Godzilla was mm-hmm. menacing a true iconic movie monster. Godzilla mm-hmm. times Kong. I think it's just yeah. called Godzilla Kong. Yeah. yeah. Uh, which came out the same year with dog shit compared to minus one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Asobi Datura says, so you get cursed by a wizard. You become a kaiju size. You become kaiju size. <laughs> and the only way to be cured and return to regular human size is to smooch a kaiju monster. All kaijus are willing to participate in this <laughs> from all of kaiju cinema. Okay. Who do you choose to smooch? And why, or oh. do you fuse the kiss and stay a kaiju-sized human? I okay, think so I'm going Mecha Godzilla because it's just a robot. It's not a real, a real creature. I'm so. going Gajira. You want to kiss all three heads? Yeah, that's if I'm going to go you're for doing it, just three like, times the work. Let's get in there. You're let's, doing three times the work. I'm, I'm just really confused by this question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no. same, author. same, but we got to <laughs> go with it. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. What about, Mothra. What about... You're Mothra. Mothra. I'm yeah. Mothra. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna 100%. Any kaiju. So I don't what, remember that's like them. Pacific Rim. I feel then like counts. Mothra would be gentle. Yeah. Yeah. Mothra seems like Gamera's a Gamera's got uh, that turtle lover. beak. So not not him. Yeah. Not Gamera. And, and I'm going to go with Mothra. Yeah. Like Mothra would wrap its wings around yeah, me. Yeah. There you go. Right. A gentle, a gentle embrace. embrace. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. A gentle embrace. Well, now I want to. Yeah. See, we got you there. A Richard Crotcher says. Uh, Moths. Richard, Richard says, with the most of the latest big budget Godzilla films, I've wanted less of the human story and more Godzilla. This movie, however, had the best of both. Yeah. I was invested in and actually cared about the human characters. My favorite Godzilla flick to date. Proof that you can do a great monster movie with a limited budget and great choice. Right? I can't believe the budget. I, I just can't believe the difference between this movie and the American Monsterverse movies. They could yeah. not be more different. And how, like, how yeah, the realism, uh, the sense of realism you get with this movie versus a fucking and two oh, a hundred and something yeah, if you million treat dollar it budget. Serious, right. Hey, guess what? You yeah. can't actually make it. Yeah. You right. may not be able to sell a bunch of toys though. That's uh, fine. I would buy good <laughs> I'm not buying a fucking toys. toy. I'm here to watch a movie. Yeah. Uh Travis Legler says I've never been a huge Godzilla fan, and my first Godzilla movie was the ninety eight <laughs> movie. Yeah, fucking oh. Broderick <laughs> and his that's a lot of fish talk about a mm-hmm. punchable face. That's but then I saw the twenty fourteen film and its sequels and enjoyed them. Mm-hmm. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this movie. And I want to watch it soon. 2014, that first Godzilla came out. Yeah. I know it's a 10 years like Edwards one. Edwards one, yeah. I was just explaining the punchable face thing to somebody, and it like mm. unlocked a whole re- revelation for them. They're like, oh my God, that is a thing. It is right. a thing. Like, I know. Oh, had they not, I love when you, uh, <laughs> these things you've lived with for a while, and like, you're just like, punchable face, that makes sense. Like, yeah. Is that ours? Like his, Did we come up with that? Did we we've get, said no, no, that. No, 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 yeah. no, no. No, we've oh, said dude. that. That's us. We've said uh, it for a long time. Something having a punchable yeah. face? Yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that's been out there. Yeah. Ooh, that's been out there. No, but I like watched his eyes get wide. Like I had just like unlocked something <laughs> Yeah, when you soul. when Yeah, when you reveal yeah. that to someone, they're like, oh, it oh makes so much God, sense. you're right. It's a thing. <laughs> you can see the connections going and he on. And he was like, give me an example. And I was like, Matt Dillon's brother. Right. Yeah, Kevin Dillon. Colin yep. Jost. Yeah. Yep. He's like, oh my Colin God. Colin Jost, yeah. Who wrote a book said, a title, A Very Punchable Face. Yeah, he was. But he's not wrong. Right. Again, we didn't do it. That's kind of right. We didn't do it. Right. We didn't do it. Proof because he titled a book that. That almost undoes it because he's acknowledging it. Does that make sense? It's, yeah. And that's why he did it. He canceled it out. I don't he did. And, and, and then, you, and even then more you run him long enough. You're like, all right, fine. Yes. I like you. It's fine. I didn't know he did that. I hate he that did. guy. All right, anyways, sorry, sorry to ruin sorry. that for everybody. Uh, Yo Jimbo I says, I'm so happy to see more Godzilla representation on the Freak Show. I always suggest one during Viewer's Choice Month. Ooh, oh, well, enlighten we us right. again, because, yeah, we don't know much, so I'd yeah. like to learn more. Yeah, uh, put Mark, another one in for uh, listener's choice. Yep, yeah, I'm sure he will. Uh, <laughs> Mark Daniels 2000 says, how does this movie compare to the original Gojira film? Is this Toho's best Godzilla movie? Don't answer that. Okay. We'll We're going to wait. It's suspense is building okay. for the end of the show. <laughs> uh, last week, we watched a movie called The Best of the Best. Uh, yeah, we did. Yes. And Dom Cree writes in and oh, says, Dom. I wonder if oh, this Dom. movie is kind of what you get if you ask someone to make a 90s Disney version of Bloodsport. YK kind Kim of, yeah. from Miami Connection, yes. you remember him, uh, definitely doesn't approve 
of this uh, sanit- sanitization, I can tell you that. Thank you. I was going to say, don't associate YK Kim with the best of the best, but you didn't. You said he would look He wouldn't approve. This. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Mm-hmm. Thank uh, you. Thank great you. cast of actors. Fun to watch. Love the enigmatic Eric Roberts <laughs> and loose Chris Penn in this. Is it weird that I kept expecting The Undertaker to come out whenever I heard the iconic bell sound? Oh, what, did they have that gong? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he gives it four inspirational slow motion <laughs> drop gas station ice cream cones yeah. out of five and yeah. says p.s have you guys caught the last kumite it features our boy I matthias hughes of yeah. i come in peace oh, with I my girl that. cynthia rothrock and my idol billy blanks oh and did i tell yeah. you it yes. features yeah. tracks by stan bush especially written for the film oh my god yeah. we i saw this it. poster the other day i'm like holy shit they're still doing it <laughs> yeah i would colin i wish you could have been there on friday night when i was High and I, trying to explain uh, right. I was the not the best right. Of the I wasn't. I wasn't at last week's episode for the best of best. But Holly uh, proceeded to explain it to me the other night. But I was and stoned out of my mind. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. Wow! It was wow. something else. Yeah. Wow! That was a that was a movie. <laughs> uh, long tall shorty says yes. Was there another period as a kid when I used to throw this? Or no, there was a period as a kid when I used to throw this on a few times a week. Much to my sister's severe annoyance, Eric Roberts puts on an absolute master class in maudlin <laughs> overacting. Yes, yes. Whoever <laughs> choose this one, truly, it is the best of the best. Thank you. And, they all uh, turn and Mark sequel. Harrison says, because uh, we were you know, saying on social media that it takes place at a, at a, at a karate tournament, mm-hmm. he says, well, it's always a tournament. No, no, <laughs> but it's Tournament not. Tournament is used very loose in this movie. It's two teams. Right. Is that just they a just pr- decided on U.S. and Korea? From what I know, you're always going to have that's not a take tournament. Place in that's a not a tournament. The- that's just these a are the match. questions I ask. I'm like, was there a okay. tournament that a got match. to this point? Was there things that were mentioned before? And then no. I was like, no, not at all. <laughs> um, it's just them. It's just and deep. they lost. Spoilers. They lost. They lost. <laughs> I, I was incredulous lost. last night. Yeah, I'm like, what? <laughs> well, I mean, that gives them somewhere to go in Best of the Best too. I guess so. The only way to go is up. Sure. Which I thought somebody, <laughs> did I miss a comment? Somebody was telling us in the last season of Cobra Kai, they were watching Best, no, watching best of the Best in, in the season yeah. that just came out, yeah. as in the last episode we said that in the group of this, chat, yeah, in the yeah. group in our group chat, yeah. they were they are watching Best of the Best Part Two as motivation yeah. for okay. the big tournament. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's pretty great. <laughs> it's great. The week before we watched a movie called Old, uh, oh, yeah. Kryptonian Orphan said. Um, Abby Lee went out the hardest. Oh. Yeah, 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 she did. Yeah, she did. And Steve Ouch. Carney says the movie wasn't great, but at least the cast and crew got to visit the Dominican Republic. At least. Yeah. And Sean sent a movie trailer to us in our group chat this week that had Midsize Sedan in it. <laughs> I did. I'm yeah, just like, the first yeah. Blood remake. Yeah. yeah basically. Yeah. yeah. But that's fine. It looked good. But, but it's yeah. from Jeremy Sonier. Sell- yeah, Jeremy Sonier uh, making yeah. a comeback after his uh, last disaster. Watch the Dark movie? or whatever yeah. the fuck that was. Yeah. So maybe he's just like, we're going straight back to it fingers crossed fingers crossed well thank you each of you for, you writing, for writing in, in. we appreciate Full it love it love it love it <laughs> and now we're gonna go around the table and tell you what we thought of tonight's movie starting with holly me godzilla minus one what'd you think loved it loved it colin uh, there you go <laughs> okay there it is. um i also love the movie it i mean i i don't think that there is a comparable godzilla movie to this doesn't mm-hmm. feel like it, but again, we. I, I think we. Well, I think we've tried. I think you know. Now you're mentioning like the Gareth Edwards one does try to go like dramatic. Mm-hmm. Here's a familial story. His dad died trying to find Godzilla. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Who gives a shit. And he's got a. You know, we haven't even bit. mentioned the um um what is it, the TV show with Kurt Russell and his son and everything. Um, what? Yeah, Apple, the Apple TV Apple? Godzilla. TV That's a show. Godzilla TV yeah. show. Yeah. What? Wait, what's it called? What? I don't know uh, anything about uh, this. What's the? Oh, it's Monarch. Monarch. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Monarch. Oh yeah. It's all That's about Kurt, Kurt Russell and his son play the same character over different years, uh, and it's a Godzilla show. What? I yeah. Show this. Okay. See, I didn't again. Know that. Oh yeah. Look this up. Like current Godzilla within our American mythology. Oh, Monarch I think a Legacy yeah. of Monsters. Yes. Okay. Oh, so there's I a whole thing going on there. Again, it's an Apple TV show, so no one knows about it. So I'll never watch it. Right. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but um, it's far superior, I mean, to any of the uh, 
I was going to say the any of the American uh, Godzillas, but like that's too broad. It's better than any Godzilla movie. I think that even <laughs> the Japanese have made, it's especially. The best one. Um, is it the best one? Yes. <laughs> it's <laughs> cried multiple times. Cried multiple mm-hmm. times. It's the. Best I think one. okay. So if that's the criteria <laughs> that you're grading it on, it it's made the me most feel things dramatic movie. Uh, it has a plot and a theme that are. Uh, all tied together uh that almost makes it it like stands on its own as a dramatic uh a war movie yeah. with godzilla in it mm-hmm. um i have other favorites but i'll say that this is done very well i mean it's hard to top the first one but i i know we're many years removed from it yeah. so it doesn't uh you know feel for us the way that it felt for people at the time um but this is you know We've entered a new God era of Godzilla movie. I think so. I love what they're doing. Or at least uh, Japan has. We have not. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we necessarily have. Other people making it, not the American versions. I don't think no, we've the, entered a new era. We the are American dead ones, like into, I said, the, the, I, I did think the uh, the Gareth Edward, Edwards one started with right. some promise. Yeah, promise. And Skull Island, I was like, yeah, okay. I like what, okay, I kind of like Skull Island. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I've hated, I hated King of the Monsters versus and X, uh, you mm-hmm. know, Kong, and they're just, yeah, awful movies to me. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I really movies. appreciate this kind of thing, which is, geared more to i suppose my sensibility um it really works i mean i can't believe that they pulled it off for the price that they did but you know i mm-hmm. don't know what the economies of of scale are there but mm-hmm. yeah it functions uh as a, a period piece a war movie it's uh gripping it's scary uh it's it's emotional uh, if you haven't seen this movie, I mean, I think the fact that it did, I mean, I, it won an Oscar for visual effects, but it's an Oscar worthy. It deserved to be, it, yes. be there. You should see it. It's Godzilla a movie. minus mm-hmm. one. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Sean, would you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I, uh, well, there's not much more to say than what Colin said and what Holly said. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Loved it. Uh, I, like you said, I can't believe they pulled this off for the budget they did. And who who knows the economy behind that? But God damn it, they pulled it off. Uh, effects wise, looks great. I, I was convinced of every single frame. Um, Story wise, great, love it. Um, uh, just a really good movie. Um, again, I'd watch this over uh, Oppenheimer any day of the week. Uh, Should have had a, a, at least a best foreign film nomination, if not put in there with best picture. Yeah, you know, and and maybe that that's not the the standard for how you grade a good movie, but uh, uh, everything else. Makes it a good movie. Um, yeah, really good. The score of this is really good. The sound design, it's, just it's what fantastic. they just what they do with yeah. sound and silence, and 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 making moments that you can um, appreciate and enjoy, and that make you feel something. They they fucking knocked it out of the park yeah. with this. And I, I you know, um, for a Godzilla movie, like I love it. It's a drama mm-hmm. that has Godzilla in it, and Godzilla is probably used to his most effectiveness mm-hmm. in this movie. Um, I think they said 11 minutes of screen time for Godzilla. Really? In the whole movie. Oh yeah. my God. Uh, just, they get the most out of it. It yeah, works. The man. impact is, uh, from start to finish is just mm-hmm. great. You feel it for the characters and for Godzilla. Like it, everything was used kind of perfectly in mm-hmm. this. Uh, I, I, anybody who doesn't recommend this movie, I don't, I don't know who you, you crazy. are. You're crazy. You're <laughs> crazy. I don't know who you are as a person you and how crazy. you feel things emotionally mm-hmm. and what have you. Uh, a great movie. Um, great movie i had mm-hmm. I, I i had wanted to see this for since it came out because it just looked good and the word of mouth was just all good and mm-hmm. then uh so thank you michaela for bringing mm-hmm. it tonight yes like, great, thank just you. a great movie loved it um yeah just you you won't find you you will enjoy this movie you will have satisfaction going into this movie um uh yeah loved it uh, watch it yeah. now watch a couple times go mm-hmm. by the fucking 4k or whatever's coming out now yeah. that the four different steelbook editions. Oh uh, yeah, ones. there's a bunch of them and everything, but <laughs> just a really good movie, and I'm very happy with it. So I recommend Godzilla. Nailed it. Nailed, Nailed it. it. They got it. I, I, you know, every review you read of this, everyone says like, I was so invested in the human story. So like, it's mm-hmm. been stated a lot, but like, so that Godzilla is a plus. But yeah, they like it, you take Godzilla out of this movie. There's still a good movie there. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, Godzilla, Godzilla is like a it's nice Godzilla thing plus it's, one. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> How nice of him to RSVP. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll be coming. 
coming. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be arriving in Ginza in a few days. Yes. <laughs> right. yes I'll uh, be there. Yeah. It really is. No, this whole movie is Godzilla plus one because he's he is arriving in places. Yeah, I was like, that's the tagline. Yeah. Uh, He'll be fun. there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll be there. I'll yeah. be there. Godzilla plus one. I'll be Godzilla there. Plus, yeah. Yes, that's <laughs> what it is. Line. I'll be there. I'll be there. Um I love just it. maps of places he's destroying. <laughs> yeah. I Beautiful. I mean <laughs> love I it. just I went in I the word of mouth was so big on this that I honestly when I saw it in theaters I was like, there's no way it's gonna live up to the hype and I was prepared to be disappointed. But everyone highlighted the uh, correct aspects of this movie and I loved it. I had a great time. I'd never cried at a kaiju movie ever before and yeah i cried three times watching this in theaters and i was just like and like the dialogue is so good which is not you can't say that about any american godzilla movie right like just the like yeah, if you cried at godzilla x uh Kong, oh my god i, would I have laugh a mental you, problem yes exactly crying at this is fine yeah yes. or i was on some like bad drugs or something yeah, yeah that like, would wow, have been you had the a case. bad day right and uh it's just like the Godzilla scenes are so satisfying and scary. Like it's the first time yeah. I've ever seen Godzilla be scary ever. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's like it's quality cannot be overstated because everything is just a, a level of perfection we don't see in American filmmaking. I feel like it's just it's unreal. And I'm glad that even though I had to leverage my power at the freak show, I'm glad I finally got Sean and Holly <laughs> to watch it because Colin and I saw it back when it came out, but you guys hadn't seen it, even yes. though I've been telling you to see it. So I'm glad I finally got you guys to watch it. And it's I wanted you to when see you make it. us watch the boys here. <laughs> see the boys here five, yes. All right, next we're watching five seasons yes, of the, the boys. boys. Yes. We're gonna watch it like one long movie. Yeah. Um but the, I especially wanted to watch it on the big screen with the sound down yeah. here too because yeah. that's such a huge Sorry. part of the experience. Yep. Um, no, I don't know what else to say other than it's perfect. I loved it. It got me in the heart. I love a movie that, yeah. that emotionally touches me and is also entertaining. Yeah. And that's a hard thing to balance, you know? Um, like I have no complaints about this movie. Right, like, yeah. That's how I feel about it too. Great. And I do feel like it kind of got robbed at the Oscars. I know it won one, but I think it deserved more. Yeah. Um, and I think and it, shout out to everyone who came with their little Godzilla mugs and everything. Yeah, if and you the, ever the, saw the red the carpet high heels, for this movie. The high heels. The high heels. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful. Loved um, it. Love so those great. people. Glad so they won. Great. Yeah, I just Beautiful. feel like you can feel people's heart and soul was poured into this movie. And yeah. I feel like it shows on screen. And it like I, I don't know. It does it does wear its influences on its sleeve, but in a way that's interesting and isn't just like redoing the same thing you've mean seen yeah. a million times, I mm-hmm. guess. Um yeah, I mean I don't know necessarily that it's great. You should watch it. Like it's on Netflix. Go watch it now. And Easy, then watch yeah. it again in minus yeah. Easily you know? accessible. Yeah, exactly. Uh it's just, I mean, I'm no Godzilla expert, but I fucking love this one. This is probably my yeah. favorite one. Shin Godzilla is also good, but the, I did not cry watching Shin Godzilla, you know? <laughs> so, um, and it's just, it's always, it makes me sad because it does make me think how many good Japanese language films are we missing out on mm, that yeah. just don't get the recognition to come over here the way right. this one did. So yeah. that makes me want to like deep dive that yeah, a little bit Japanese more. How many Japanese movies that don't have a big fucking dinosaur in it? Right, are we right. Just missing out on? Right, that are also equally as great. Yeah, um, yeah everything was just, firing to perfection in this movie so you gotta see it it's you'll enjoy it and it's good for you so <laughs> I like, yeah. I like it's good for yeah, you it's, good for it's you. like it's good, good cinematic you. like nutrition right. you know like, watch it with yeah. subtitles not the dub don't watch the dub don't Colin and I dub. had a jump scare when the dub <laughs> Colin and I both screamed when the <laughs> dub came out speaking on. English yes, yeah cause like, no no cause I just knew how good some of that dialogue was and I didn't I want it to be fucked up by the dub I you love know? that you just wrapped it up by saying this is basically like a bowl of honey nut Cheerios yeah yeah it is it is it's good for you and it's good and it's heart healthy yes exactly yeah it only Make you feel things. It is heart healthy. Take it in. <laughs> let it wash over you. Yeah, watch a movie with subtitles yeah. every now and again. Think about how think, think about how you can like do the the emotional equivalent of taking in an orphan baby for your community. <laughs> right? You know? right. Yeah, this will like, teach you yeah things. exactly. So even though that's your yeah. nightmare. Yeah, yeah, it's my nightmare. Right. Be a better human. Nightmare. Watch Godzilla minus one. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There it is. There All is. right. Well, I guess that means it's free show approved. <laughs> yes. Yes. And that means you're contractually obligated. You have to watch yes. it. To watch it. Yep. All right. Uh, next week, we're going to watch a movie that's chosen by Colin. Going back around. What are you going to bring us after that? Yeah, big shoes to fill, Colin. Yeah. Well, 30 years ago, oh, okay. oh, all right. there was okay. a movie that defined a segment of pop culture was released, and it was called The Crow. Oh, wow. Oh. But we're not watching that movie. Oh, oh. It's it. on three sequel oh, no. TV <laughs> series and a remake that's coming oh, out as you listen to that episode. Oh, no. And so we're going to watch... 
I mean, the way they tried to capitalize on the success of The Crow, we're going to watch The Crow City of Angels. There we go. Okay, is that the <laughs> second one? That's the second okay, one. Okay, all right, all right. I was like, are you really picking The Crow? I no, knew that was a catch. Can't, can't. I, I knew I was we'll a talk catch. about it, but we're watching well, I Crow thought he City was going to pick the remake and say we're going on a field trip <laughs> so for a second I, there. Yeah. I was like, oh, no. You see what happens, folks? You see sequel, you, you the you sequel see sickness? You see where you eventually get to? Yeah. You get there. Yeah. You get there. <laughs> the second one. Yeah. Yes. Okay, all right. What is the Joker saying on a monster? I'm just ahead of the curve. Yeah, uh, there you go. I feel like I need to rewatch the original before this. Yeah, oh, I think oh, so there too. You go. Yeah. I'm gonna go see the remake probably before. Good this. luck so to you. So we'll all be. Uh, oh yeah, yep. we're gonna coming we're gonna coming pro, at this from different angles. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that's uh, next week. We hope you'll join us. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark. <laughs>